Hey folks, this is Tico here, and welcome to System Shock 2! So I wanted to go ahead and do some retro gaming, and decided that I wanted to play one of my favorite games of all time, which was System Shock 2. So System Shock 2 was really a milestone in gaming history, and a lot of its design has kind of echoed down the decades since then. It was a critical success, and it won a whole bunch of awards. Unfortunately, at the time, it was sort of overshadowed by Half-Life, which had come out about a year previously, and this was back in the days when you didn't have giant blockbusters every couple months. What's interesting about System Shock 2 is it actually still has an active modding community almost 20 years later, so I'll be using some mods out of there. These are mostly providing some graphics updates and some bug fixes. I really wanted to stay true to the original game, so the only actual gameplay changes that I'm making uh, is partly in the weapon degradation system. This was definitely part of the original game, and it was an intended mechanic, but I feel like it's a little too harsh, so I'm going to turn it down by about 25%. I'm also going to do something with the research system, but we will go ahead and come back to that a little bit later. Now, there are some upcoming releases in the System Shock universe, which is very exciting. Uh, Night Dive Studios is remaking the original System Shock. I kickstarted that a couple years ago. It looks like it's going to be coming out the beginning of next year, and it is looking very solid. I'm pretty excited about that one. There's also an actual sequel, System Shock 3, that's coming out someday. We don't know when. It's being made by Other Side Entertainment. It'll be nice to have an actual sequel as opposed to the so-called spiritual successors like Bioshock, which was not a spiritual successor. So as we get started, do remember that despite some mod updates, this is still a game from 1999, so, you know, just kind of cut it some slack as we go. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's get started. So we'll start up a new game here. Um, we'll just play on normal, that's fine. Look at you, hacker. A p pathetic creature of meat and bone, panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? Shodan did not care In for us. In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess, destined to inherit the Earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. <laughs> That's not a great combination. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Yay. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems. Hmm. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. Plows. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. <laughs> revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Hooray! Go mankind. <laughs> As a UNN Phantom, we've been hijacked by an unknown force. Ship security has been compromised. Do not allow the ship to leave. Repeat, do not allow the ship to leave under any circumstances. I don't know what we're up against here. That's not good. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. So, what's kind of fun about System Shock 2 is you don't just sit there at the beginning and, like, put some points in. You actually get to kind of join the military and then go through some missions to kind of build up your initial character. I'm actually going to go ahead and go with the Navy, because spaceships. Come on. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and let's join the Navy. 
Ooh, pretty. See? Spaceship. Can't go wrong with spaceships. That's what I always say. Well, I said it once. Alright, so now we're going to choose our mission postings, and how this works is these are going to actually give us some choices as to how we're going to build our character. And this is kind of neat. So we've got uh, two or three different Formal options here. Let's kind of move on here. It looks like you've I'm going to talk over him for just a little bit here. So down here, your tour will down, down quite a bit of walking. Okay, so we can join uh, a military police. This will give us plus one modify and plus five strength. We can get plus one repair and plus one strength, or plus one hacking and plus one strength. Hacking is pretty important, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with this for our first mission. I think this will be fun. And away we go. All right, your tour of duty aboard the UNN Lucille has concluded. You've spent a productive year. The captain was impressed with your work, especially with the initiative you showed in physical training. A friendly ensign showed you some back doors into the ship's primary data loop, and you spent your time off pumping good old-fashioned iron. Plus one hack, plus one strength. Awesome. Good for us. All right, so year two. Now we can go ahead and we can get plus two with standard weapons, plus one maintenance, or plus two with cybernetic affinity. These are all good. I intend to primarily go with standard weapons, so I... I think I may go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's do that. Cyber affinity is pretty important, but I think I'm going to start with weapons. Okay, your tour of duty at the Laverne Tactical Training School is concluded. A year of firing ranges, mock boarding parties, and war games has done you good. You spent plenty of time with military-grade pistols, assault rifles, and even auto shotguns. Plus two standard weapons. Good for us. All right, here's year three out of four. So we can get plus two agility. Agility is not useful. Plus two endurance, eh. Plus one research, on the other hand, I think is something that I want, because I don't want to have to put points into this later. All right, so my tour of duty at the Marie Curie Research Facility has concluded. Congratulations on surviving the disaster. When the saboteurs removed the safety seals and released the virus into the atmosphere control regulators, you were one of the few to reach safety in time. However, you were able to pick up a few odds and ends of the research facility before the crap hit the fan. All right, there's year three out of four, Don. This is not good. All right, looks like we've been reassigned to the Von Braun escort mission. That's kind of cool, at least. Your application to join the crew of the Brickenbacher has been approved. Report to Shuttle Bay uh, Mayfair at the Port Francisco at 0400. Get ready to become a part of history, soldier. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Five months later, near Tau Ceti 5. Cool, 67 trailing miles. I think that's us. That's not good. Rise and shine. That's also not good. N nor is that. Reinitializing memory strings. Restoring patient memory. Restoring memory. Restoring memory is good. Oh. Okay. That's not good. Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the computer ops staff of the Von Braun. Hey, Doc. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. I'm... what? You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Yeah, it some does. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Volunteered. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. 
You must find an elevator and come up to deck four to meet me. Deck four. Can you remember that? But keep <laughs> your eyes open. They're after us both now. Deck four. Check. All right. Volunteered. Yeah. Okay. All right. In we go. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. That one? It's become unstable, dude. Move! Whoa! Take cover! Um, okay. Corpse number one. That didn't take long. Ah, the classic wrench. You can never go wrong with a wrench. Yes. And scratches like that indoors are never good. All right. So, let's get out of here. Yep. This seems like definitely the way that we should be going. All right. Welcome to the Von Braun. Ugh. Whoa. Ah, crap. Alright, alright. Okay, access card. Um, access card opened. More corpses. I know we're doing this stuff, but I gotta check this out. Great. I gotta change the access codes out of cryo -A again. Like I've got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to 45100. 45100. 45100. All right. Ta-da! And here we are. Well, more or less. Screaming and all is never good. Warning. Decompression event imminent. Hi, Xerxes. Whoa! Xerxes is not a nice guy. He's the AI in charge of the whole place. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just there is. Use it and it will recharge all the power-driven devices in your possession. Ta-da! you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. Okay, here's our info. We'll come back to this in a little bit. Hey! I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Right. All right, so, um, a couple of things to note. So here is our inventory and stuff like that. Inventory stacks, we do get to do some manual inventory management, so we'll be playing Tetris. Um, this is our current weapon, armor. This is an implant, once we have one installed. Nanites are kind of, they're kind of both a currency and something that we'll use in hacking, so we'll see that later. Cyber modules are used to upgrade ourselves. The MFD is gonna give us logs and stuff, as well as some notes, so we know kind of where to go. Some of this has been added by mods. And then these give you what key cards we've got, and this will show us um, what kind of stats and stuff we've got. So these are all things that we will kind of come back to bit by bit. So here we are. Uh, you have some nanites. Thank you. I'm sorry for your loss of life, but um, I had nothing to do with it as far as I know. Ooh, that's not a good sound. All right. Whoa. Even more modules. Okay, that's helpful. So, there's a bunch of different stuff that we can upgrade, so let's take a look at these. So for weapons, I can upgrade standard weapons, energy weapons, or heavy weapons. You can see the cost here in cyber modules. Obviously, with only eight modules, I can't afford any of that. I'm probably not going to do any size stuff, and I'm sorry about this. The size stuff kind of left me underwhelmed, but there is a whole bunch of stuff that you could do um, from, you know, neural reflex napping to projected cryokinesis and stuff like that. We'll touch on that maybe later if I decide to go that way. Stats, we can upgrade strength, endurance, our psi power, agility, which is not useful in my mind, and then also cybernetic affinity, which is important. I may get some points in that. Tech-wise, we can get hacking, we can get repairs, that's very important, and modifications, and maintenance. Maybe I should get hacking first. Yeah, that leaves us with three. Do I want to upgrade any of my stats yet? I think I'm going to put some points into cyber affinity. It's cheap. All right, so there we go. All right, let's check the place out. So various supply crates, of course. Uh, some more nanites, we'll pick all those up. Another dead body. Mad hypos, extremely important. Um, I don't know the code yet. So if I wanted to hack it, this is how I do it. As we go ahead and we do this little thing right here. I think I do have to hack this if I want to get through. 
Let's just take a look out here really quick before I go upstairs, up the left. Is this where we came in? That's where we came in. And, okay, yeah, that's the two sides where we came in. Okay, so I think I do have to actually hack this door. So let's just do that. I can kind of show you how that works. Can't go wrong with hacking, right? So, things that you can hack will have this available to us. And what you basically need to do is kind of connect three dots. So this gives us our chance of success overall. You can see that um, we get some modifications from hacking and also from cybernetic affinity. This is the cost in nanites, and we can reset this, but every time we do, we have to pay the nanite cost again. So dark squares are of no use to us. Um, so we need to get three light ones in a row, which may not happen here. Yeah, there we go. Security access compromised. Security access compromised. Psi boosters. Brawn boost, very good. So this is our first implant. So these, um, I think the brawn boost actually gives us melee um, weapon damage increases. And you can see this is the percentage of power, and these do slowly decrease over time. So you do have to recharge them periodically. So with that said, it gets everything down here. Let's head on upstairs. I don't remember if there's any more rooms up here that we can poke around in. Y yes. Okay. Ooh, look, there's stuff over there. So if I'd picked up side stuff, I'd be able to pull those down, um, but I did not, so I can't access those. So, alas. So here's a Psy amp. So we could use this as a weapon in order to use Psy abilities. Since I don't have any Psy abilities, that's not really going to help me. So, alas. Whoa! And I fell down here and just damaged myself. We're off to a great start. Okay. Anyway. Never mind. Go back upstairs. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time since I've played this game. I like the little pop-ups that show you what things are. Unbreakable window. Like, okay. Uh, thanks. That's good to know that. Much appreciated. Infectious hazard. That's not good. Another med hypo. You can guess what those are for. Um, let's see here. Science access key card. Please don't do that. There's no reason to explode at me. Anything else down here? Yeah, your chair's not in the best shape. Oh, here we go. Some more free stuff. We'll break the window. Shotgun slugs and a Psy Hypo. All right, and we went through this side already. Can somebody let me out? I can't find my card. Please, let me out of here. Yeah, ghosts are never good. Whenever your question is, do I want to see a ghost? The answer is always no. Please turn on lights. Yeah, lights, okay. And 20 more nanites, okay? And we've got the door for this card for this now. All right, there's our first hybrid. Well done, I'm uploading some more modules. Whoa, ah, doing my best, buddy. Yeah, anything that runs at you while yelling, kill me, is not off to a good start. Okay, so, welcome to the med sector. Maintenance traffic, yeah. That's gonna be problematic. Okay, so, anything good in here? There's a box. Can I hack into this one effectively? 45%? Um, probably. Maybe. Uh, no. Okay, so we can go ahead and reset it. Let's see here. Better be some good stuff in here. There we go. And we got some more bullets, and we got some nanites. Alright, good. That was worth, I don't know, what? 10, whatever I used. Um, okay, audio logs. Why is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. <laughs> I finally had to pull the voice subsystem offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? Right? Okay, so we've got a bag of chips. It restores one health. Liquor gives you a little bit of health, but also drops your Psy. Since I don't care about Psy at the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and drink heavily. Alright. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, maintenance story done there. Alright. Alright, well, let's start going. We know I just saw a baddie come through here, so... Aha! No! Whoa! Crap, another one. Yeah, these guys are disturbing. Aha! And a hybrid organ. So, I don't think we can do anything with that yet here, but let me show you how this stuff works. 
that's less good. Okay, so um, things that you have available to us will start to research on their own. So the problem is, is these chemicals needed to research. So there are chemical storerooms scattered out throughout the entire station, basically, where you have to go pick up specific stuff to come back and then research it in your info. I found this system stupid. In 2000, I had a big sheet of what chemical storerooms were where so that I could, you know, crisscross back and forth to find the right stuff. I'm not going to do that in this run through. <laughs> so we're going to skip that part when it comes up. All right, so here we go. On most decks, you'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. Xerxes shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. Well, thank you. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. Cool. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable to slow decomposition. Isn't that true? All right, so here we go. So games at this time, besides this type of respawning, do expect you to use quick saves and quick loads on occasion. We shouldn't need to use that very much, but it probably will come up. Okay, another log. I like listening to these logs, so sorry. I got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau City. Karenskin was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair. Hey. You can see these lumps on the side of his neck. Oh. And that smell. Hey. I told him you should go see Dr. Watts, but he told me to mind my own business. Well, la -dee da Yeah, that's not a good start. All right. Um, let's check the body bags to see if there's anything good in here. Okay, research complete. So, now we can take a look at the stuff that we've researched. Um, we've learned how to best target the hybrids for maximum damage. All damage we deal the hybrids will be increased by 25%. DNA structure indicates this organism is a hybrid of a human host and a parasitic organism. Although the parasite, resembling a yard-long worm, has deteriorated to a stage beyond useful analysis, the effects of the process are evident. Severe deterioration of higher neural function is caused by the tumorous growths along the spinal column and brainstem. The non-human tissues appear to be formed from a composite of small worm-like creatures that have adapted into the host body and taken over most majority um, of motor control and decision-making functions. There also appears to be direct stimulation of the autonomic nervous and glandular systems, hence the organism produces exceptional amounts of both adrenaline and endorphins, and endorphins making it very strong and aggressive. What remains can re not, uh, really not be called human at all. Damage is irrevocable. Yeah. That's a lot of text, but okay, so now we don't need these anymore, because these have no particular function. But now we've gained some permanent uh, bonuses towards uh, dealing damage to hybrids. And that's very nice. Anything in this body bag? Yes. Why would you keep a med hypo up here? I don't know, but that's not important right now. The important part is we got a med hypo out of someone's bizarre decision. Also, isn't the music in this game amazing? I love this game. Alright, let's continue on our way. Remember Citadel? Citadel Station was where the first game took place. Where, again, an AI went crazy and tried to slaughter us. Any unauthorized database interactions to your direct superior. Yeah, I'll think about that. God damn. Somebody's hacked into this thing again. I'm gonna tell Delacroix. Unfortunately, there's no subtitles at the moment, so I'm, I'm hoping you're able to catch this. So these are rep wraps. This is where you buy things. You can buy bullets, apparently, and mad hypos. Later, we'll be able to hack it, and we can get an interesting selection of other stuff, but not quite at the moment. So, guns. Here's our gun. Oh, it's in very good condition. That's nice. So this shows us the ammo and then also the condition. Condition deteriorates as you play and is a little frustrating in its own way, but it is what it is. So actually, well, I'm going to keep the brawn boost installed because I do intend to do a lot of hitting. Oh yeah, do we have the map active? Uh, we do. Let's pop the mini map up. All right, so there's a replicator, so on and so forth. We're over here and I want to go this way. Um, more vodka, very good. Can't go wrong with that. I've been unable to get in touch with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. Uh oh. The leaks in the venting shaft shorted out the primary access channel, and that means we'll all be on auxiliary power until we can get it back up. That means all the lifts are out. Marie, That's not good. Where the hell are you? Oh, security cameras. Okay, so if uh, Xerxes sees you through a security camera, um, all hell breaks loose. You get like two seconds and then it'll sound an alarm and baddies come running at you from all over the ship. So my goal is to duck around the corner here. I'd rather not shoot it. Can I sneak up underneath this one and hit it with a wrench? Maybe. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. 
You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too, if you're good enough. But don't yeah. watch the job, or you'll set off the alarm yourself. Right, Your not so good. Is useless to me. Whoa, turret. Up at the top here. Allow me to demonstrate a turret. This is a turret. Turrets are not good. I don't care for turrets. Um, we're just gonna try to stay out of the way. That didn't work so well. Crew quarters. Access needed. No access. Okay. Where's that vodka? Vodka will solve some of my problems. Did I pick up the vodka? Yeah, here we go. Mmm, delicious vodka. Health and other items are extremely limited in this game, so... It gets a little squirrely. That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. Of course he has. You can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. Yep. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, shaft. and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew subsection. Grassi has the key to get in there, but he's right. in the medical subsection, probably <laughs> near the biopsy lab. Now get to the medical subsection and find Grassi. All right, let's do that. So, yeah, this is where we need to enter the code to get to the next stereo, but of course we can't. That's not one that you can hack, unfortunately. All right, so here we are back at the beginning. Okay. So let's keep moving here. Now this is where we take the elevator if we had any power. We do not have any power. Camera! Whoa! Yellow means it's noticed to you, and you have to wait for it to reset before you step back out. Let's listen carefully. I thought it made a noise. Okay, problem solved. I do not even want to deal with these guys. There's a security control station right there. We could have hacked it, but I don't wanna. Okay, let's let's check out this place first. Okay, yeah, here's the chemical storerooms. For example. Each deck has a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. Yeah, it's a really annoying system, and like I said, we're going to skip out on that one. So, here's our stock room. Great. So, you, uh, I now have two weapons. So, this one is, um, you can see, not as good a quality as these, um, and it is carrying seven bullets, which I do want to go ahead and unload so I don't accidentally forget and drop it. This gun will break, and we'll need to switch over to a different one. It'll be quite a while here before we can actually start to repair our own weapons. So you actually do need to collect duplicates, which is weird, yes. I heard that. Whoop. Can I melee you? I'd rather save some bullets. Oh! Apparently, at the cost to quite a bit of health. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and let's use a mad hypo. So, stop trying to be cute. Okay, armor piercing bullets. So, when you have different weapons, you can switch between different types of ammo. Um, AP does exactly what you'd expect. Standard is kind of this general mid of the road. Um, AP stuff does a lot of damage to mechanicals, but not much to people. And vice versa. Okay, there's a slightly obvious trap, but obvious traps are obvious. I don't remember what's down here. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Let's grab some vodka. Can we go ahead and drink some vodka? Yes. Like, the fact that there's a corpse there is worrying. And turrets. Hi, turrets. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's switch over to our AP guns. Uh. Let's get carefully lined up here so I can step out, get a shot in, and step back. Yeah, hack a turret. Yeah, right. As you may have noticed, these things hit like a truck. So we're going to try to avoid that. And I've got one more AP round left. Okay, so we can switch back over to normal bullets now. Jeez. Stop getting hit, buddy. Okay, well, there goes a whole bunch of our ammo, so this better have been worth it. Can we get anything from these turrets? Oh, yes, yeah, some regular bullets. Okay, perfect. And how about from this one? Well, not perfect, but yeah, okay. Cool. And we've got this poor fellow. Um, got some cyber modules, good. A health pack, some nanites, and here we can recharge all of our stuff. So, yep, now our brawn boost is back up to full power. Things are looking good. Alright, let's head back up and let's move on our way here. 
So this was a worthwhile detour. Come on. Okay, good, 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 good. Good old tri-optimum. Alright, let's continue down this way. This is where we just shot out that camera. Okay. So far, so good. I'd like to melee these guys, but I don't think I can afford the health. Oh, these guys are so creepy that they're like still conscious in there. And that is the sound of a monkey. Monkeys 100% get shot by guns. Those monkeys right there. They are super annoying. And we'll come back to monkeys in a little bit here. And I'll explain why monkeys are so bad. Well, I can just tell you, monkeys have ranged psi attacks. And they're incredibly frustrating. So, we're going to go ahead and not deal with monkeys. That door is open. Was that door open before? Ever since we reached Tau Ceti, the lab monkeys have been acting strangely. Nurse Lesser picked one out of a cage to be brought in for vivisection, and the rest of them, I mean the entire group, stood up on their legs and howled. This wasn't just a random display. It was a protest. Yeah, that's not good. Let's turn the lights back on. There we go. Hello, and antitoxin hypos. Very good. Uh, you can guess what those do. You will find toxins, and these will anti them. Just sort of as you'd expect. Okay. Um, how hard would it be to hack this open? 55%. Um, I've got some nanites. Yeah, so if you click on these ice nodes, obviously the whole thing blows up. Okay. Now, let's try one more time. 55% is not high enough. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Maybe when our hacking is better, we'll come back and we'll try this again. What's going on over here? Uh, nothing. Okay. Hi. At least you're not super creepy. So you can see my quality's already dropped from 7 to 5 after just a couple of bullets. That's why... And this is with the degradation dropped down by 25%. These guys also don't have, like, um... There's no, like, crits on different body parts and stuff. That's something that had not yet occurred in games. That was a little further along yet. Can I reach this med hypo? Because I want it. Um... Maybe I have to come at it from a different angle. Okay, some nanites, thank you. To partially replenish the ones that I wasted. There we go. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use another med hypo. I don't want to immediately die, because that would make me look like I suck at this game. Okay, shh. That guy right there. You know what? I bet we can bash him. No! Too slow! Okay, good. So I can one-hit them now that I've got the brawn boost going. Okay, we don't need your organ. That's fine. But I accept your gift of chips. That's all very good. Oh, I could have shot these and had them explode. Okay. That can be a fun thing to do, but I think if I had, I would have lost the nanites. Where is this? Can I get through here? An unbreakable window. Okay, the answer is no. How hard are you to hack? 45%. Let's keep wasting nanites. Just because it's fun. There we go. Oh, that was totally worth it. Alright, good. Alright. R&D. That should be fine. Here's another rep wrap. Um, speaking about bullets, psi hypos, antitoxin hypos, and I can't hack it yet, unfortunately. I don't think we need anything at the moment. This mission should have been scrubbed before it left Earth. We've been unable to contain the reactant coolant leaks on deck one. Uh oh. I've put an order requiring hazard suits down there. I know you think this will cause a panic, but it's better than giving everybody radiation sickness, don't you think? I do agree. As a matter of fact. Do I have this key card yet? Ah, <sighs> okay. So where am, where's the R and D? Do I have this in a note yet? He's near biopsy in medical. Okay. So you can take a look at our map out here quick. And see where I haven't been. Oh, version 1 research software. That's nice. Apparently I did not come down this hallway. This is where we just were, obviously. Okay. 
Um, let's take a look at our map. So we need to get to R&D, which is over here. Okay. Looks like we haven't been down to this area, so let's go down, let's go down over here. And let's see what's down in that area quick. Or if I have, I don't remember going there. Yep, this is new. Okay. Whoa, camera! Okay, let's hold on for just a second here and let the camera go away. I should definitely have noticed that. That was sloppy play on my part. I can turn off the security alerts back over there, but I'd really rather not deal with it in the first place, right? Is this enough time? Okay, good. That's an excellent use of bullets. Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. Luckily, we know where that is. Before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. All right, all right. Kind of rude, wouldn't you say? Marie, I've got to restrict access to engineering until we can figure out what to do down there. It's just too hot. I don't know where all the hazard suits went, so I'm reduced to bringing down an armful of rad hypos. Those damn things always give me a headache. But it's better than being dead. Okay, so if we take a look at our map again here, we're going down to the zappy thing, which is down this whole area. Okay, let's head on down there quick. Okay, back at our zappy thing. Let's go ahead and let's recharge everything. Conveniently, that sets our brawn boost back up to one. All right, let's head on back to that door. There we go, come on, and we'll get that powered back up again. All right, and main power turn on. You have not disappointed me. Well, thanks. Transmitting cybernetic modules. All right, so now we can head off into the next section here, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. Hopefully this looks like fun to you. It was fun for thousands and thousands of other people over the last 20 years. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.